here we are back at it again this is going to be a shower remodel only let's show you the existing shower that we're going to tear out today one hour tear out everything's set up for success all of our tools taking over some real estate in the garage got our trailer here for debris let's show you the existing surround Okay, so here it is, guys. Fiberglass surround. We're going to cut the flange out, remove the shower doors. We're going to be installing a walk-in shower. Curved pants, they look beautiful. So, let's get to it. Rip this out. Here we go. All right, guys, we are installing our backer board. We're going to install the backer board, waterproof the pan, the corners, and all the seams and penetrations, and then we will install a ledger board and tile up from the ledger board, finalize the pan, and then install our last row right here. Herringbone is gonna be the pan tile, 12 by 24 Carrera for the walls. Let's get to it and install this board. <laughs> All right, now we're framing our niche, cutting our horizontals. Always frame out your niche with lumber, top plate, bottom plate, and two verticals. All right, waterproof time. We like to pre-cut all of our band for the screw holes and the penetrations, the corners. And we use a cheap drywall plastic knife like this to simply smooth out and embed the membrane into the board. All right guys, here is our setup. We are taking over the garage for this build. Today we start tile, installing a ledger board and uh, we're gonna tile up from the ledger board and then finalize the pan in the last row. Got all of our stuff here. We're gonna be using the Montelite 24 inch for the back wall. We're gonna use the DeWalt for the uh, clean cuts, for the notch cuts. D36000, probably the best all around tile saw, uh, hands down in my personal opinion but it is big, it takes up a lot of space, it is very heavy. We are rocking the IQ diamond blade for this build, and uh, that's pretty much it. Recommended, snapper makes the back wall and the side walls go very quickly. We've already snapped the tile, it snaps very clean. We can also snap all the tiles on the left and right sides of the uh, shower walls. So let's get to uh, business here, and get this uh, shower probably 80% complete today. All right, here we are, got the AC running, keeping us nice and cool, venting up in their vent that is duct it's nice and cool and comfortable in here our ledger board is up our laser is on we're going to install a full tile maybe a 50 percent offset your traditional standard pattern and then we're going to have a grout joint in the niche once we finalize this wall move on to the valve wall the adjacent wall work on the shower pan and the last row <laughs> What we're doing is real simple. We like to wrap the walls with the same tile. So this first and second row, we will install the cutoffs. You simply mark the back, left two. So this will connect the veins. It is the same tile, it'll wrap. If you can pull this off, 
highly recommended. It looks really nice, clean and professional. And as usual, we have a full tile right at the top of the niche. So let's continue. We've been installing for 15 minutes. We'll get this back wall done in probably an hour and a half. It's got brown hair. Okay, we're almost at the ceiling. Been working on this for about an hour. We have to rip a uh, 3 16 off for the last row. All right, guys, everything is going up extremely fast. This for the niche is the cutoff of this tile. This is the same tile. We're also wrapping the sidewalls as well. This is the same tile as well as this so that the veins and movement flow from the back wall to the sidewalls. Let's finalize the valve wall. <laughs> 